This is Anderson Penn's podcast, <laughs> episode 238 for August 2nd, 2017. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. You're a saint. <laughs> I'm a saint? <laughs> Why am I a saint? You put up with me. Yeah, all right. I just watched the cutest thing that made me cry. I just have to say that. Have you seen the video of a little kid on the plane fist bumping everybody? Oh my God, <laughs> I watched it three times. He's so cute. Just going around down the plane, fist bumping everybody. You didn't see that? No, I didn't see that. Oh my God, you gotta watch it. So, <laughs> okay, <there you> go. <laughs> all right. Everybody needs a little happy today, I think. Uh, didn't you have your happy this weekend? Speaking of. Oh, that's a nice segue. I don't know, I know, right? You know, I did, I had a birthday. 29, I, right? And a whole lot more. <laughs> Yes, I did. I got a new pen. I know, what a surprise. Um, I picked the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the metallic green. Well, actually, we should, what we should say is that you rejected my <laughs> first gift. <laughs> we were having, having coffee out, outside, and I brought out a pen for you, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> you, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I picked it out. You brought it home. And then I decided that it just didn't quite suit my hand as well as the sailor. <laughs> I, I don't like metal sections. Okay. You know, for, for some people, um, metal sections are a, a deal breaker. For others, it's whether or not it posts or the filling system or whatever. And it's gorgeous. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. And I can totally see why Steph wants one. But, yeah, at the, the last minute, I just couldn't do it. So it was going to be a Graf von Faber Castel Guioche. In the gorgeous, oh my God, indigo color. I don't think that's the official name of the color, but gorgeous, oh my God. It should be O M G indigo. Yes, I think <laughs> okay. it should be. Right. It's gorgeous. And what are they and thinking? discontinued. What are they no. thinking discontinuing it? So we have a couple. I, <sighs> are they taking the cross school of. Getting rid of all the color. No, no, they've got no, other. They got cognac, I like the cognac, so, yeah. but. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway. Anyway, so I got a new pen. <clears throat> it's green. It's very pretty. Um, and Eric was just aghast when I just inked it with the cartridge. Well, that's okay. Uh, that's what I thought. Well, you know, you have you have all these pens. You got all these cartridges. You got to use them up. Exactly. Exactly. So, so. that's what I did. So it has the right. cartridge black it's ink the, in it, and the it's the Pro Gear Slim metallic yes. green yes. Four Seasons. It's yeah, it's a good-looking pen. If it was a little bigger, I definitely would want one. Well, that's um, why I have it, and you don't. If they made it in a full size, that would be killer. Uh, so anyway, that was your 29th birthday. It's 52. Um, um, I'm allowed to say it. You're not allowed to say I'm it, but I'm allowed, allowed to, to say, say it. it. All right. I'm not, um, I'm not embarrassed to be 52. Okay. I good. might be embarrassed next year to be 53, but we'll see what happens. All right, well. <laughs> there we go. So that, that was a uh, birthday pen. Um, I'm feisty today. You are. <laughs> uh, and DC Pen Show is coming up. Oh my God. I'm very excited. And very excited. We are going to see everybody. And we're leaving today. Oh crap. So, yeah. um, as soon as, pretty much as soon as we get done with this, we're going to finish packing finish up. Finish packing. Get in the car. Most everything's packed. Now it's the Tetris game in the car. I think I hate that most of all. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of folks uh, did Pen Show Pickup, which is awesome. Two huge buckets full. Yeah, oh my two God. huge buckets. So that's um, cool. That's a smart way to do it. That way, you've already paid for it. You just pick it up and you're on your way, and it makes you feel like you haven't blown your budget, and you already have something. It doesn't count. Yes, it doesn't, it doesn't count, count as a as a pen show purchase because if you it's buy it in advance, prepaid, right? So if I do that with no, no, Jimmy, no, Sarge, <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> No. <laughs> it, works no. For, it works for everybody else but me, apparently. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So, no, it's, uh, it'll be good to get on the road uh, and get going. And um, What? We haven't been to a pen show in a while. I know. I know. But I you know, know. once you get into it, you're going to be gonna be excited. I'm only whining because we're doing three shows in six weeks, and it's just boom, boom, boom. And then we're home for six weeks, so I guess it, it balances yeah, yeah, out. But yeah. DC is a great show, um, super busy. We've got things planned, I think, almost every minute of the day. Uh, it's in a new location this year, so it'll be interesting to see um, what the new setup is like. Um, 
see who's there, who's not. I know uh, a couple people couldn't make it for various reasons. So, um, yeah, it'll be good. We get to see Stephen and Aziza. Oh yep. my God, we get to Exc see them tomorrow. Excited, I'm so excited. excited about that. That's going to be yep. great. Um, you mentioned setup, and I, I want to mention this. I think okay. I think it's important since this show is a complete anomaly. Um, the table setup occurs Friday morning at 9 a.m. So if you get there on Friday, it is likely to be extremely chaotic. Yes. Um, because nobody is going to know where the tables are. It's not like past years where you kind of had an idea or if you had more than two tables, you knew where you were going to be in the ballroom. Uh, nobody knows where they're going to be. Uh, we're not going to find out until 9 a.m., which is when it opens. really late as yes. far as I'm concerned. So. Just, you know, bear with everybody. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts because people are going to be bringing stuff in, stuff in. You know, there's going to be... I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head what time um, attendees, weekend traders are allowed to come in. It might be 10. But, yeah, just give everybody yeah. a little chance to, uh, to work out the kinks. Yeah, it's, you know, and it takes us normally three to four hours to yeah. get set up. Um, it can take longer depending on how many people are there. So Just... Um, um, Bear with us. Yeah, and we got we got some good help um, and oh, some like good we, friends that are gonna. We, we have like huge staff this time. I'm yeah. excited. Rally, it's rally fourth. So. I always wanted roadies. <laughs> you wanted a driver. That's <laughs> yeah, what you wanted. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, DC is going to be good. I'm excited. Yep. Um, you know, finally we'll be able to because we've been nervous about DC for months now. Um, and, not knowing uh, if, not knowing where, not when, knowing where, when. Yep. So. So we're, we're good. It's going to be good. Um, we're getting together with the, the Atoya and Sailor yes. and some other folks uh, for dinner Friday night. That's going to be awesome. Um, oh, and the duck is amazing. The duck. We're going to the duck place where they serve. <laughs> what do they make? They make like 50. A couple hundred a week, I thought. 50 a night or something, something on weekends. Like 50 yep. ducks they, they cook Peking at this duck. Peking duck place. Very exciting. So anyway, um, that's going to be awesome. What else do we want to talk about on D.C.? Come see us. Just go. Come see us. Say hi. Get a hug. Bring coffee. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're <laughs> if you're debating whether or not you should go, just go. I know it's a new place, and you know all that. There's still going to be way more pens there than there is probably most other shows in the country. Yep. Um, so definitely it's go. A good show. So, and speaking of big shows or getting bigger. Uh, in, three weeks after DC, the last weekend is that three of weeks August. From today that we're gonna leave? Well, three weeks from today, we'll be on the road. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, the San Fran Pen Show? Uh, it's always the last weekend in August. Um, still a fairly young show. They're growing. Um, my favorite part is um, the. It's the coffees and the cookies. <laughs> in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, just when you need that little sugar pick-me-up, there it is. Yep. And Pam always hooks me up. She always brings me cookies because I missed it once and I was whining, and now she takes care of me. Well, the nice thing about San Francisco show is one of the West Coast shows, and there are certain, you know, you go to the West Coast, there's only really three shows, three or four shows remotely west of... Remotely close, yeah. Remotely close. And so you have a whole different set of vendors and a whole different set of people and a whole, you know, because sometimes you go to the East Coast shows, you go to Baltimore, you go to Philly, you go to D.C., um, you go to you know, Atlanta, Columbus, you go to whatever. Raleigh. You see the same people, you see the same pens. Which is great. Which is fine, but... you know, because there's no way you can see every pen at every show. So, you you know, there's, but there's a little overlap. But when you go to the West Coast, there are people that only go to those shows. You try, though. You try to see every pen. I right? try to see every yeah. pen, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, speaking but, of every pen. Yeah, speaking of every pen. What? I don't know. I'm just trying to move along. Okay. Here. Are we talking about new stuff? We are. Oh, Go. you said every pen. Yep. Um, Segway. We're segueing into new stuff, and, and a lot of the stuff we will have with us uh, at the DC show, so just, just expect it to be there. Um, Graf von Faber-Castell, uh, Guilloche, wow, what a pen. New to us. Um, um, we've been looking at it for a while, and... Um, Got them in. They're cool. It's the one that I rejected. <laughs> it's the one that Lisa rejected, not because it was not a great pen. It just, you know, it was. Uh, it's beautiful. She wanted the sailor more. Let's just say. Yeah. It. They're gorgeous. Um, they're um, nice looking pens. The I love guilloche. the caps. Yep. Uh, Eighteen karat nibs. I mean, the, you've got the the chevron pattern, which is really cool. The V shaped. Um, you've got the barley and rhodium. 
uh, which somebody on staff bought, and like six times a day. Did you see my new pen? Did you see my new pen? Did you see my new pen? <laughs> I think he likes it. He does. Um, the ciselé, which means chiseled. Yep. Uh, but it's not like the Parker, what is it, the 75, 75 or the Sonnet, or the Sonnet, Sonnet yep. These are cool. These are a little bit thinner. I like, I like that. Um, similar to the Ambition, similar to It's like a little bit bigger than intensity. the Ambition, yeah. yeah. Um, very cool. They're gorgeous. They are absolutely Snap gorgeous. Snap cap on it. The, the cap is killer. I love the clip. Uh, everything about it is and just you keep luxury. talking about the clip. I love the clip. It's a great clip. Um, but, uh, yeah, so nice, there's eight different patterns, uh, mm -hmm. eight, well, actually there's 11, we've got eight, um, but, the Cognac uh, is pretty. Cognac is nice, brown, like, yeah, there's all sorts of good, good stuff. Um, but, um, what else? anyway, those are in, uh, in the Faber-Castell lineup, the, uh, TK Fine Vario, uh, pencils, uh, probably will not be bringing these to DC, but, uh, for the pencil crowd, they're nice, uh, even a 0.3, which uh, up until this point, the only one we've carried was the Platinum Pro Use. Very few companies make a point three. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're they're cool. They're um, classic looking. Yeah, they're I a think. little bit longer pencil. They actually don't fit in our our oh. trays as nicely as hmm. uh, as some of the other ones. But uh, point three, point five, point seven, and then there's a uh, one that's marked point nine, one point oh. What uh, so a little bit bigger, but uh, they have this little soft and hardness indicator Split on them. Split personality. Well, I don't know. But uh, you rotate the, the, the thing, and then it gives a little more cushion uh, when it's on mm. the soft indicator. So uh, nice, and then the, uh, the eraser is nice on it. It's just a nice nice mechanical pencil, and, uh, you know, if Faber-Castell makes it, it's got to be pretty good. So. Yes, absolutely. Um, but oh my God. switching to ballpoint rollerball. So excited. The new <laughs> Retro 51 Tiki Kona came yesterday. So cool. It's um, bamboo. bamboo. Yeah. With uh, the antiqued copper finish, or a copper finish, um, I just grabbed mine and ran. Um, with, with graphics on top, really very cool. They, it's a little bit pricier, and so some of you out there might be thinking, what are they doing? Fifty-seven dollars. You're paying for the bamboo. Yeah, but bamboo it's is cool. more expensive to begin with. It's very cool. Yeah. Every every season or every quarter, they come out with their new popper. This is really awesome. I don't know how they do it with their art department. Well, they probably have 20, 20 ideas in a can, probably. Yep. And that's the only way I can think they can keep coming up with good ideas. Absolutely. Uh, we will have some of those uh, in D.C. Yes. Those will be with us. Uh, also coming today, Yay! Uh, hopefully any minute. any minute now, Twisby Eco in Turquoise. These look cool. They look I've, nice. I don't have an Eco. If I were going to get one, I think the Turquoise is talking to me. It's a little more colorful. Um, it's your, nice. Yeah. I like it. So it's not like the turquoise on the 580 AL. It's a little bit more a little vibrant. Brighter. Yep. Um, it's like, yeah, it's it's pretty. It's it's really cool. They did a nice job. So that's coming today. Um, Way better than the green. That neon yeah, green. I wasn't a big fan of the green. Uh, but, you know, everybody's got to do it. Lummi's got to do it. Um, Waterman Hemispheres. Yeah, you were super excited. I'm you excited. I like this forever. pen. I really do. I think it's a, a nice, nice looking pen. It's well made. Um, fountain pen, rollerball ballpoint. This pen has been around now for 23 years. Are you going to get one? I don't know. I have one. <laughs> I bought one in 99 and I still have it. Okay. I have a fountain pen and a rollerball in 99. So you don't need one? Probably not. Excellent. Probably not. But. Um, they come in a bunch of you know a bunch of your standard colors: black with rhodium, black with gold, uh, stainless steel. Uh, but then we also have um, blue obsession, which mm. I don't know why they call it blue obsession, but it's all blue with with uh, chrome trim. If you're uh, obsessed with blue, I guess yeah, it's a nice nice color. Uh, and then there's a couple of the deluxe models: the bronze satinay and the silky black. Bronze um, is pretty. It is nice. It's got a pattern cap, and those were kind of special editions, um, very short. Um, Seem, seemingly short run on those. A little more expensive, but it's a, such a nice, nice looking pen. Yep. A um, little bit thinner than even a, a Pilot Metropolitan, but it's a classy looking pen. It doesn't look like a cheap pen. It's a nice, um, you know, it's a nice gateway, I think, on Waterman. Uh, but I've been using them for 20 years. So uh, excited about that. Fine and medium nibs only, steel nibs. Um, 
Yeah, it's but, great. Uh, they're it's they're great. nice uh, rollerballs and ballpoints. Cool. So, All right. Switch to paper. Rhodia Heritage Notebooks. Uh, we've had them for a couple weeks, and um, Mr. Paper, our very own Chris, did a little video on them. Um, I like them. It's different. It's uh, beautiful, beautiful paper, and uh, I like that the covers, they still combine the Rhodia, the orange, and the black, but it's um, a pattern, and they're they're just really cool. I like the, the stitching. I like... Yeah, the spine is cool. Yeah. On the, yeah. yeah. So, um, brand new, you know, it's it's going to be awesome if it's by Rodia, um, but this was a nice um, update, a nice um, addition to the, the classic Rodeo orange and black covers. Um, super excited to have these in stock. You know, they lay super nice and flat. Yep. I really like that each, because each one has just, it opens it up, it lays nice and flat. You can flip them over, some of them. Yeah. So they're, they're they really, nice. really, highly, very well highly done. usable. Yep. Um, sometimes you get a notebook that has nice paper, but it's not, it's yeah, It doesn't want to open all the way yeah. or things like that. So. so, ink. Oh my God. So yesterday we were allowed to announce, was it yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. Yesterday. I did. Packing kills my brain. We were able to finally announce the new um, J. Herbin ink. Uh, we've had it for a while. We um, had been able to play with it for um, a couple weeks now. This beautiful amethyst color and with silver shimmer instead of the gold like they've had in the 1670 anniversary inks. Yeah, gold with the silver with this is really, yes, it works. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, it's kind of a, a deep, rich purple and the silver shimmer. I can't pronounce it. But it's amethyst. It's <laughs> it's what it is. Amethyst, amethyst. Yeah. Uh, and it is 1798. It's not 1670. That's not a typo. Correct. It's 1798. They're, um, they're doing some rebranding, new, new series. This has to do with the founding of the company. I should have read the paperwork. So, uh, new bottle. It's got a wide mouth on the bottle. I like that. Um, I like that a lot. It's a little easier to get your, your, your pen in there. Gorgeous. But, uh, um, it will be available, I believe, late August. Um, so uh, we have it up on the site. Do the back in stock notice. And as soon as it comes in and you get that email, buy it because these are going to go fast. Loving the silver shimmer. And I don't do shimmer. Okay. I think we're in trouble. Uh, other inks. I just got to let you do the inks. Um, Robert Oster has a new color for um, the DC Pen Show, and we have it. You can do pre-order, but we are not allowed to ship it until the beginning of the DC show so that people who are at the show can get it first. So the new black violet will be at the show. We will have it. Um, I don't know how many we're going to have with us. I don't know how many are going to sell out before you get there. So if you really want one, do pen show, order it online and do pen show pickup and that way you'll have yours. Um, after we get back. But you better do it soon because we're leaving today. Yes, yes. In fact, <laughs> it might have, you got a half an hour. <laughs> um, the uh, pen show pickups always go in last. But um, after DC, we'll be able to ship it to people who have ordered it to have it delivered to their homes. Um, also for San Fran, there is a new ink called the Lake of Fire. Those are not allowed to be shipped until uh, the beginning of the San Fran show. So if you've ordered that, those will ship separately and you, no one is allowed to ship it until after um, San Fran starts because it's for San Fran. Yeah, that one looks like a nice, I, I like that one. That one yeah. looks nice. Um, other than that, what do we have? That, uh, I think that's enough for this week. But we'll have, we'll have a lot of this stuff with us uh, in D.C. Uh, again, you've got a few minutes left. If there's anything you, you have to have, um, don't take a chance. Just do the back and stock notification and yeah. then we'll, or just do the pension pickup and then we'll, we'll bring it for you. But sometimes, you know, we'll get people who come on Sunday and that's the only day of the show they can get there and, and the color, out. the color of ink they wanted is out. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, the best way to do it is just pick it up. And again, it doesn't count towards your pension budget <laughs> if you pick it up, if you order it in advance. So. Okay. That's true. Um, a couple of the other things that we will have at the show that we, um, haven't had before, 
We will have the um, color rings, uh, the little uh, rings with the colored, with the um, uh, people are using them for uh, swabbing ink, uh, made by Anna Reiner of Well Appointed Desk. We will have some of those. Um, I'm not sure how fast they will go. They usually go pretty fast. So uh, grab those while you can. And uh, Loit Term 1917 notebooks are um, new to us within over the summer. We will br be bringing some of those. Uh, again, if it's something you want, um, come see us early. So, all right. I think that's about it for this week. We're going to eat before we pack, right? Something. Okay. Uh, thanks so much for joining us this week. Tune in next week uh, for more talk about pens, ink, paper, and post-show review. Which probably means what pen Brian bought. <laughs> follow the blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of fun videos, and follow us on social media as Anderson Pens, and we'll try to post some things along the way and at the show. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.